We've all heard of Notebook LM. It's an AI research and note taking tool by Google that's free and it lets you upload documents and chat with them like a personalized assistant. It summarizes content, answers questions, helps you create slide decks and videos with AI and it helps you explore ideas using your own as well as external sources. Honestly, it's still pretty underrated and most people aren't using it to its full potential. And recently, it got a massive revamp since the last time we had covered it. Just take a look at Notebook LM in action. You can have it automatically browse hundreds of websites, synthesize everything into structured reports, and generate an annotated list of sources. Instead of doing piecemeal searches and manually organizing notes, you can let it handle all the heavy lifting for deep research. And this is just one example of what it's capable of doing. This is a tool that is fully free as well because it has a free tier that lets you access a lot of AI features that helps you increase efficiency as well as making you more productive. And to get started, all you need is a Google account. You can head over to Notebook LM's website, click on try now and you can access it. And this is something that we're going to be exploring throughout today's video. But in terms of starting off with the new updates, Notebook LM now supports deep research. This is one of the biggest updates so far because it helps you add more diverse, high quality sources and expands the type of content you can analyze, including spreadsheets as well as Word documents. This is a new feature that you can access within a new notebook. You can simply head over to the sources panel and within this panel, you have the ability to select deep research or you can also use fast research. This is great for getting quick results. But if you're looking for a more in-depth analysis on the topic that you want to generate a report and have more analysis on, then you would want to select deep research. And this is where you can provide whatever prompt that you want to have it research on further. And you can have it so that it is going to be able to access your drive or the best sources from the web. And then you can obviously send in your prompt, which is where it is going to take its time to plan and research with the Gemini model to find the best analysis on this topic, which is on autonomous AI agents and how multi-agent systems will replace traditional software workflows. So it seems that it has finished working on the deep research component of this. And now it looks like it has found high quality sources, top 20 sources, 39 in total, which expands on this concept. So if we click on view, you're going to be able to get a good condensed understanding of what the autonomous AI agent topic is about but from all of the different sources that it was able to find throughout the web. And you have the ability to select each source that you want to use for this. And then you have the ability to either import all of these sources and then have it generate the report. If you want to work with these, you can then import it into your report. And this is where Notebook LM is going to then generate it and it's going to have it imported to your notebook. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. After composing the deep research, it is now infused into our notebook. This is where I can now use it as an AI assistant. To get better educated on the concept of autonomous software agents, this is where you can ask it questions, learn more, and just get a better understanding through the Notebook LM chatbot. And you can see right here that since I had asked this question on how do latent space communication and memory and engineering optimize scaling and efficiency in multi-agent systems, it works on then providing an answer based off of the deep research of high quality sources it has found, and it provides me the sources of where it got the information and gives me a good condensed answer of what it was talking about based off the context or prompt that I provided. These are just sources that it found on its own. You can also have it so that it is able to deep research from files, from copy text, from the drive, as well as websites. This is something that they have stated within their blog posts where you have the ability to expand on research and update information in more file types from Google Sheets drive files as URLs, even images, which is really great for deep research and uploading handwritten notes. You can also have PDFs uploaded or Microsoft Word documents. But the wildest part is, is that this isn't just an AI assistant that you can chat with. 
you also have a studio and you can see that there's more features to the studio now. You also have it so that you can transcribe whatever text that is generated from the support as an audio overview where you can generate a full on AI podcast. So if I click on this, it'll generate an AI podcast so that it will help me understand this concept of autonomous software agents. Let's take a listen to the podcast that it had generated. Welcome to the deep dive. Today, we're looking at what is well, a genuine seismic shift in how software gets engineered. It really is. We're moving beyond this comfortable, but let's be honest, notoriously painful world of human coding and the traditional software development lifecycle. The fact that it created a 17 minute podcast is just insane to me. And what's wild is that there's even an interactive mode. So if you click on this, you can actually chat with the podcasters itself. Hi, I wanted to learn a little bit more about what autonomous software agents are. Could you give me a better deep dive on it? That is a perfect question. A great place for us to pause. Absolutely, because that distinction is the foundation of this entire shift we're talking about. Okay, let's unpack this. We need to define exactly what an AI agent is. You also have the ability to create mind maps. This is where you can get a visual understanding of your sources as well as the workflow architecture. This way you get a better understanding of how it all operates and functions. Not just that, they have it so that you can now create videos with the reports that you generate. So in this case, this is from the 40 different sources that I found from the deep research and it created this video, which is incredible guys. This is a full on flight seven minute video talking about autonomous software agents. And in the world of AI, that playbook is called, it became painfully obvious that and now that we have accumulated a deep research on this concept, you have the ability to now export it as a report. You can either create your own where you can craft it based off of the specific structure, style, and tone that you give it, or you can use these different formats, like creating a report as a study guide on this concept, a blog post, a brief doc, or something like a technical white paper, which is pretty insane. You can also have it so that you can create a strategic briefing, a concept, explainer as well as an informational guide so if i click on this this is where it will generate a specific report based off of the topic and based off of the deep research it, it was able to accumulate through different sources and there you go this is a beginner's guide to the autonomous software agents the concept that we had it do deep research on and it is a condensed report on all the topics about it and you can see that it did a great job in writing up this report Another update is where you can create slide decks directly with inside notebook. And you can now describe the slides that you want to create based off of the topic that we had researched and it will generate a beautiful slide deck based off of that topic and all the sources that you had basically accumulated through the deep research phase. Now that we have beautiful models like Gemini 3.0, as well as Nano Banana being integrated within notebook LM, you have a lot more flexibility where you can create infographics like this you see on the screen. And you also have better generated content thanks to the Gemini 3.0, which is insanely good at coding as well as deep research. Say if you are in high school or in college, you can use the flashcard feature so that you can get tested based off of the concepts that you have within your notebook. This is really useful and you can get a better understanding of your concepts even further with flashcards as well as with the quiz mode. This is another way for you to get tested and learn more about what your overall concept is about. Here is an infographic that it created on my concept and this is just insane guys. The fact that AI was able to create this is really astonishing to me. This is the quiz that I was talking about. It has created a 15 question multiple choice on AI agents. And you can see that there's even hints that it gives you the answer to the question based off of that answer or a question that is asking. And this is something that will help you get a better understanding of the concepts that you have it generate a re deep research on or just based off of context that you provide it uh, through the different sources. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more.
Now, truly, there's so much more to this, so I highly recommend that you take a look at this. This is an optimal tool, not just for learning, but it's a great tool that can help you increase your productivity and learn better and accomplish deep research on concepts completely for free with this Google tool. I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily get started. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel, join the newsletter, join our private Discord, as well as follow me on Twitter and subscribing to the YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell over here. Take a look at our previous videos so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.